What's going on everybody? Um, it's been a long week, I'm not gonna lie. But everybody's asking why I didn't go live on Monday. So we made it Tuesday. We're here, we made it, right? Um, we're all hanging out. And we just wanted to come do our weekly Q&A and see what's up. Ingle girl, how are you? Dang, look, we got everybody joining. So um, I wanna tell you the question of the day you can thank knives. Um, the question of the day gets a, and, and it'll be the video, like I don't know if you know, but you see, but after these videos, we post usually, um, we usually post a, a video that, you know, one of the questions that kind of got, that was kind of hit home, or you know, one of the best questions there is, we post it in a little snippet after this. So what we're gonna do is, is the video that gets posted, the question from that, is uh, going to get an 18 by 24 uh, flip side canvas that they choose. What do y'all think? Y'all like that or what? So, what's going on? Let's talk about the fanny pack. I'm in. Let's talk about it because that seemed to be what everybody kept bringing up. You know, I, I'll be honest with you. I, I carry a lot of different ways. I mean, how about this? I got the fanny pack idea from Tim Kennedy, so... If you want to make fun of that, you can go tell Tim Kennedy and see how that works. Um, but you know, look, I mean, I, I, I try to carry, I carry that fanny pack sometimes with that because when I'm taking my daughters and like I'm out, I don't want to carry concealed, right, or inside of, inside the waist. Maybe I'm in shorts or whatever, or maybe I'm going and running or something, but you know, when I have my daughters, it's more important for me to be able to carry and protect them than it is for me to worry about how I look, right? So, that's where it's at. Uh, Crispy, what's up, man? When are we gonna do a podcast together? My, you know, you guys know Crispy. Crispy is out there. I've been trying to get him, but he's been off for two weeks doing whatever the hell he wants. So, uh, can I do a fanny pack of the month? I like that idea, I will. A fanny pack of the month. I like that. I'm writing that down, because that's how good of an idea it is. Uh, what was my first reaction the very moment I first became a dad? Um, it was pretty crazy, right? I mean, I, being a father is by far uh, the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. So, I mean, it, it changed my whole life. I never realized how much it would change my life. It's probably the only thing that's changed my life more than going to combat. So, yeah, I mean, it was, it was absolutely life-changing and you never even seen it coming. It's one of those kind of deals. Oh, let me see, I'm trying to get this down because I don't like that window behind us. I can't wait till we get this podcast studio going. It's gonna be good. Um, Jennifer, where all have I been stationed? I was stationed uh, mainly, so I mean, it depends on how you look at it, right? So when I was in the Marine Corps, I went to obviously Paris Island, the right side, uh, the right uh, boot camp for the Marine Corps. And then I went there and then I went to Camp Geiger, North Carolina to become an infantryman. And then after that, I went straight to Hawaii where I was stationed there the entire time. Um, but I, you know, I moved around. I went to Okinawa for a while. I was in Okinawa, Japan on Camp Schwab. And I went to, I was there right before I went to Afghanistan. So that's kind of, you know, the little bit that I did in the Marine Corps. I was only in it for a minute. The Geiger Tiger, yeah. Where's my jumpsuit? I don't have a jumpsuit, but my uh, rig is actually at the drop zone. The other day when I was out there, I had to leave pretty quick, so I just left it out there. Much respect. I, I do see trip. I see trip. I, I see trip uh, all the time. So, you know, like, when you look at the teen mom stuff, you got to understand that all those, like, what you're seeing today was filmed two or three months ago. So, I, I, I don't want to say this, but you guys are kind of two or three months behind. You know, it's not your fault. It's just how it goes. What is my favorite thing to do for fun? Jump out of airplanes. It is by far my favorite thing. I did get a haircut. See that? Look at that. Let me see if I can fix this. Yep. So I got a haircut. I got tired of it being in my eyes. Do I want more kids? I mean, look, I would love to have a house full of kids, but am I going to have more kids? No, I'm not. Did I ever see EOD guys use the Barrett? I have seen EOD guys use the Barrett to try to shoot munitions or to try to uh, shoot IEDs. Izzy, what's up, man? Um... I hope you're feeling good, man. Hey, everybody give a shout out to Izzy on here. Uh, tell Izzy we love him and tell him that uh, uh, he's the man. 
Everybody give him a hope you get better, Izzy. What age did I start jumping out of airplanes? I started jumping out of airplanes about eight weeks ago. Have I ever fired an SA-80? I, I don't think so. Not quite a high and tight. It was. It was close. What would I say the most important thing when trying to handle severe anxiety? Um, you got to change your way of life. I mean, it's a lifestyle, right? I mean, I would say that that's where you have to start, right? Medications and all these other things you have in your toolbox, I mean, they are just temporary fixes. I call them Band-Aids. Uh, whether it's taking anxiety medicine, which I'm not a big, um, big uh, advocate for, or it's, you know, the Alpha Stem helps me a lot, uh, getting stellar ganglion blocks. All those things working out, all those things are just literally tools in the toolbox. They are... It's kind of like building a house. You can't use just a hammer to build a house. You have to have a saw. You have to have a, a level. You have to have a, a um, you know, you have to have all, all these tools to build a house. It's kind of the same thing with anxiety. But the big thing of it is, is all these things will help build the house. But you have got to, you've got to change your way of life, right? Like lower your caffeine intake. Lower your change up what you're taking as far as uh, supplements. Uh, you know, if you're working out. Um, get yourself out of environments that are toxic, right? So all those things are, are big pieces that will, will will help with all those, right? So you, it, it's got to be a more of a lifestyle change. Your your diet, it's got to be more of a lifestyle change than a I'm just going to take this to fix it. Whatever happened to the stalker? Well, he's in jail and he's going to jail for a long time because he's an idiot. Favorite concealed carry pistol? You know, honestly, my favorite concealed carry pistol, everybody asks me, I love Glocks. Uh, you know, I, I use a different pistol depending on what I'm doing. But out of the bag, out of the, out of the box, uh, concealed carry pistol is um, an HK VP9. I love it. It's, uh, it, takes a little bit, it takes a little bit to get used to because when you uh, do the mag release is, is different than anything I, you know, any weapon I've ever shot. So it, it takes a little bit to get used to, so it, it's a little practice, but it's, it's a really good pistol. I, I love it. Favorite, my favorite makeup product. Um, I, I don't know. I don't really know much about makeup, but I am learning because Sailor is really big into makeup right now. <laughs> If I could go anywhere in the world, where would I go? Yeah, that's a good question. Probably back to Afghanistan. Any advice to USMC combat wounded wives? You know, I, 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 I've never been one, so I can't say anything. I, I wanna say up front, I'm a huge, uh, huge advocate for, I, I truly believe that serving our country is a family business. And you know, you all serve if not more than we do, right? So I want to say up front, thank you for your service. Uh, the second part of it is, is, is love them. Love them, have empathy, but also hold them accountable. You know, um, it is a conscious choice to, to wake up and say, I'm going to have a good day. I'm not going to have a good day. Um, it is a conscious choice, no matter what you're going through, of what you choose to do with your life. You can either be the victim to the circumstances, like I'm not gonna take away from what anybody's ever seen, but at the end of the day, you decide what you do with the circumstances that you've been presented, right? You can either, it's kinda like playing blackjack. You know, you've got dealt this hand, whether it's right, it's wrong, fair or not, but at the end of the day, you're the one that went to the table, just like all of us who serve this country, we chose to go to the table. And we knew the risk and the, what we were going to do when we went to the table. And if you didn't, then, you know, I, I don't know what to tell you. You didn't do your research. But on the back side of it, what I'll say is, is you have, um, you have the choice to wake up every day and to be the best that you can be. And you can either, you can either look at the situation that you've seen that's so bad to make you have PTS. You can look at it and say, hey, I'm going to be the victim and I can't believe this happened to me and I'm going to waste the rest of my life. Or you can turn around and you can use it as the fuel. You have more of a reason to use and make the best life in the world than anybody else does, right? So why are you going back and why are you wasting it? If you've seen the sacrifices that's been made on behalf of this country, to be able to have freedom, then why would you waste it? You've seen it firsthand more than anybody else. So 
that's the way I look at it. You make that choice, and it's a choice that you have to make every single day. I, it's not a choice you can make today of, well, I'm going to, okay, I'm going to make it today. You have to make it every single day, and that's on you. Am I living in Austin? I absolutely am. If I ran for president, what would be the first thing that I'd fix? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'd never run for president. I'm a Marine, not a politician, and I would never want that job. People don't choose to abuse, Dakota, including soldiers. Choose to abuse? That's bullshit. People don't choose to have cancer. People choose to abuse. That's the difference. People don't choose to have cancer. Like, people don't choose to, um, to, 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 to have a disease. But people choose to abuse. Like the difference in choice and not choice, or 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 the the difference in no, that's bullshit. Alcoholics choose to drink. Drug addicts choose to put drugs in their systems. The difference in a a disease and a choice is if you stop. Like a disease is something like cancer. You can do everything the doctor tells you. And you can, you can do everything the doctor tells you and you can still die from it. And the choice is if you stop drinking, you're going to be fine. Or if you stop doing drugs, you'll be fine, right? So there's a difference. I'm trying to preach. 16 years sober. See, that's badass. Girl with a Glock, I'm proud of you. That is badass. Why didn't, you, why didn't you become a Navy SEAL instead? Why didn't I become a Navy SEAL instead? Because I could never do that. I know my limitations. You think it's less about choice and more about misinformation or ignorance? Well, we all have our right to uh, have an opinion. No one chooses to be abused either. You're right. Um... Did I used to stutter? I don't know what that means. <laughs> you missed some of my life. It's all right. Any thoughts on Jocko? I love Jocko. I think Jocko is, I mean, Jocko is the epitome of what I want to be. You want to look at a man and say, hey, you know what? I mean, I, that's what I do. I mean, there's no real secret to me. I'm, I'm really, I'm not very smart. I'm not anything like that. I'm nothing special. I'm not the fastest. I'm nothing like that. But what I do is, is I find a way to surround myself with people who are way better than me, and I just try to be like them. Where did I get my hat? Pipe Hitters Union. They're badass. I love them over there. Would I base jump? Ah, uh, no. Never. I, I, I owe it to my daughters to never do something like that. So, you know, I gotta have a, I gotta have a, uh, I gotta have a limit somewhere, right? Gotta draw the line somewhere. And Andy Stump told me he would kill me if I did. What's my go-to cardio workout? I don't know if you've seen me lately, but I don't have one right now. But I don't know. I like, I like to row. I like to ski. I like to run. So, Do I know Marcus? I do. I know Marcus, Melanie, Morgan, Leslie, all of them. They're incredible people. Matt Best or JT? Um, are we... Just depends. What am I doing? What, what, what am I doing with them? The most scared I've ever been besides a combat deployment? Um, that's a good question. That's, that's a really good question. I don't know. I'll have to get back to you on that. How's the weight challenge going with Crispy? I'm probably losing. Um, elliptical? Yeah, that's a pretty good one. When am I going to hunt out of a helicopter again? Hopefully soon. Do I hunt, and if so, what? You know, my favorite thing is to hunt is like, I like to hunt pigs, I like to hunt coyotes, I like to hunt shit like that. I don't, I'm not, I'm not really into, I, I like to hunt deer, I'll hunt deer, but you know, I'm not really, it's nothing big. Renee, and I know Renee and George too. <laughs> Renee, what's up? Were I ever, was I ever scared when I went out on combat? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, scared to death. I don't know that I was as much scared for myself as I was for other people getting hurt. Like that was probably my biggest fear. I mean, it's easy when you die, right? I mean, when you die, it's easy. That's the easiest thing you can do in life is die. 
The hard part is like being scared for someone else, and that's it. Your mom said you can't go skydiving. You can go skydiving when you're 18. Am I dating? No. I have the only two women I need in my life. Sailor and Atlee. What are my positive qualities? Um, that's a short list. I don't know. I'd have to think about it. What's the number one coping skill for PTS? Um, I don't know. I, you know, just being surrounded by great people, right? Like having people who hold me accountable. I, I, I like to surround myself with people who don't feed into my bullshit. Like when I call them up and I'm like, well, you know, the last thing I need in my lowest points in my life was when I was surrounded by people who were like, I could never imagine what you've gone through. You know, it's, this is all understandable. And that's bullshit. It's bullshit. There's always people out there who's gone through worse. So for me, it's just, you know, the, when I start getting down real low, I start looking at who I'm hanging around and you become what you're around, right? So, you know, that, that's kind of it. My daughters are beautiful. Thank you so much. They are beautiful. What kind of deodorant? Old Spice. How many seasons of Team Mom do you have to do? I don't know. What's my favorite joke? I cannot tell you that on here right now because it would be bad. Um, what's my favorite Bang Energy flavor? The Rainbow Unicorn. What are my strengths and weaknesses? You know, I say my weaknesses are, you know, sometimes I have a hard time letting things go and brushing it off, not getting too invested in people, you know. Um, it's, you know, sometimes it's hard. Favorite bar on 6th Street? I don't know, I've only been down there like once. What else? So I broke up with Amiri King. No, he broke up with me and it's okay. I, I'm, I'm still dealing with it, I'm getting over it, okay? Thoughts on Navy SEAL being charged with murder? I, you know, here's the part that I have so much of a problem with is I, terrorists don't deserve to live, period. And in every article, no matter who's writing it, everybody's agreeing that the dude was a terrorist. So that's, that's my point. I will leave it at that. I think it's ludicrous what they are doing to this man. And I think what's even more ludicrous is the guys around him who are fucking doing this. Yeah, I get, I get heated about it. I can't talk about it or I will get so mad. I think it is. I think, I think that if there's anything that shows that our military is getting weaker, it's that bullshit right there. Like the, the Navy SEALs who are, who are going and ratting on this guy. Ratting, I don't even know what there's a rat about. But I think the Navy SEALs, the guys around this dude who, is, who have you know, gone and put this dude in jail. Yeah, I, I think that, I think, you know, they might not have to answer here, but I can only imagine where they're gonna have to answer someday. It's such bullshit. And I think the NCIS guys who are doing this bullshit around it are terrible. I served four years. Who do I look up to? Well, the list is long and distinguished, but a lot of people. Number one is my father. Can I give your active duty husband a shout out? Brandon, what's up? How'd I get my teeth so straight? I paid for them. They're the best money can buy. 9 mil versus 40 or 45. I go 9 mil all day, right? I mean, you know, with the ballistics on them, they're not that much of a difference, and I'd rather have more bullets than I would more knockdown power, right? I agree. Free Eddie, period. My favorite gun? I don't know. I mean, it just depends on what are we doing with it, right? I paid for them, yeah. Where's my hat from? Pipe Hitters Union. What else? Come on. Marine wife from Iowa. What's up? We got any on Facebook? We got any questions going on Facebook? Let's see what's going on Facebook. 
Leadership, is it born or is it learned? Leadership, is it born or is it learned? Did you, are these all my questions on Instagram? Mm -hmm. Oh, hold on, I got some questions on here. I didn't know that. Dang, nice way to tell me. Leadership, is it born or is, born with it or is it learned? So I believe that leadership is, here, we'll put this up there. Um, I believe that leadership is, uh, it's nurture, not nature, right? So I think it's something that's instilled in you from how you were raised, right? Like what you've seen, things like that. So I, I do believe that. Um, let's see, I can look over here on Facebook. Yes, sir. Uh, number of times you ran PT still drunk? Uh, almost all of them. Peanut butter jelly or peanut butter? Just peanut butter. I don't like the jelly. Not the jelly. Ah, I'm out on jelly. I don't like jelly. I don't like the texture of it. It's not the taste. It's more the texture. We slay bodies. Can you go live with me? You know what? You want to go live with me? Ask a Yeah. See if you can do that. Put a request in. Let's see if we can get him up here live. Let's, this this We Slay Bodies guy is a really good dude, and um, let's see, come on, put a request in to go live with me. Where you at? I don't see it. What's my favorite barbecue place? I mean, I like Rudy's. I'm a gas station connoisseur, you know? Thoughts on the border wall. I mean, look, you know, whatever. I mean, you put up a border wall, and guess what? I mean, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to man it, right? So I think that I think that the real problem right now with why we're not getting the money is because they're they're trying to make it out to be some concrete physical structure. When hopefully this money for the border wall goes to our border patrol agents, it goes to backing them to be able to do their job, it goes to uh, giving them the resources that they need to do their job. And, and if nothing else, why aren't we putting more money into putting more people to, to let the process go faster, right? I mean, that's where our money needs to go. I mean, a physical structure, look, you put up a 35-foot wall and, and the 37-foot the ladder business goes at, through the roof. And I think it's just crazy how the media portrays this. Dakota, do I feel the VA is improving as far as assisting veterans? No, I think the VA sucks. Let's see what else. When will I become as jacked as Echo Charles? Probably never. I'm too fat. What do I think of leadership paid seminars? I think they're good. I mean, I, I think they're good. I think that they're good. I think you know Jocko puts on some of the best ones there is. So I, I, I think they're absolutely good. When am I going to jump with Andy Stump? As soon as he will. As soon as he'll do it with me. Um, do I think MTV has made me out to be a bad guy? Here's what I'll tell you. What to shows me everything is that with the reunion that was on, everybody's commenting last night. The behind the scenes stuff that's not these editors up there is bullshit, which I would love to get in the same room as the editors from MTV. Um, but uh, you see, go look at the comments, what everybody writes when they see the more of me, not what the editors want to show of me, right? Everybody's like, oh, this is great, this is great. That's more of who I am, not this bullshit that, that you know, these, you know, I don't know what you call them. I don't know what you would call the MTV editors. I would like to call them as, um, I'll think of it, but they're, they're pretty close to satanic. What's my biggest fear? I go through this all the time. My biggest fear is, you know, not being able to be what someone needs me to be when they need me to be it. That one and then letting my daughters down would be my two biggest fears. <laughs> What's the maximum effective range of excuses? <laughs> oh, zero meters. Zero fucking meters. What's up, Marty? Three of my favorite movies. I don't really watch movies, but my favorite movie is Boondock Saints. How did I prepare for the core? I was in, I was in, look, I was in high school, so I was already playing football. I was already doing shit like that, running. So I don't know if I, you could ever be really prepared for it. So you personally, oh yeah, they, yeah, of course I agree that they made PTS look like what it's not. I agree 100. percent Would I let my daughters ever be in the military? Absolutely. Let me go down here. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get some more questions off here. Um. Hold on. 
one. What are my goals in 2019? You know, my number one goal is, you know, it's to work on me, right? I mean, obviously I'm gonna continue to be the best father I can, so that's obviously improving that. Uh, my number two goal is to, you know, get my companies where I want them at. I wanna get some things off the ground. I wanna get them exactly where I want. Um, do you got that plug-in? Hold on, I gotta get the, hold on, I gotta charge my phone. And then, uh, you know, I want to, uh, I, want, I, want, I want to crush Flipside, and I want to get you know my family in the best position that I can. So that's that's kind of my that's kind of my goals. You know, it's amazing how goals change after you get older, right? Um, what else? Goals 2019. Um, 2019. What's up, Blake? My man, Blake. I love you, man. You're you're a good dude. How many years was I married? I was married for two years. How did me and Knives meet? You're gonna have to watch this podcast uh, that's coming out next Monday to get that part. Charge? Nope. That's dead. that thing is dead. Oh. Here we go. Hold on, I gotta. You want to kick your diet soda habit? Shit, just do it. Do I hang out with Travis Haley? I like Travis. Travis is a good dude. Good buddy of mine. Good dude. Can can you get Toby to jump again? Probably not. Probably not. What's up, Schmitty? 6'5 or 308? I'd go 6'5 all day. Why would you never get married again? I mean, I just don't ever see it in the cards, you know? I just don't see it. Did I think of the name for the new group that I wanted to start? I did. Do you guys really want to know it? Do you really want to know it? How tall am I? Five foot eleven. My favorite band, Hanson. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I don't know. I don't know who my favorite band would be. Yes. Yeah, so you guys do want to know? Okay. I don't know if I can tell you yet. Knives, can I tell them? No. I can't tell them yet. What? They want to know what the name of the new group's gonna be. I'd hold on to it. Okay, so we're gonna hold on to it. Sorry, I can't tell you yet. Knives told me I couldn't. <laughs> is, uh, is PC culture effect, uh, affecting the effectiveness of the military? Yeah, I, I think so. I think the politically correct uh, bullshit's really affecting the military. I think if anything, you know, I don't think any of this, you know, the social shit that is affecting the military, I don't, I don't think it bothers any of us. I mean, my, I'm not saying any of us, but what I will tell you, say is this politically correct bullshit is affecting us because the higher ups are so worried about it that it makes decisions on, it makes command decisions that in overall affect the overall operational effectiveness of our military and the, the boots on the ground. I mean, I have a medal of honor because of it. What do you, my, what do you mean by that? What? You have a medal of honor because of yeah. I mean, I mean, I have a medal of honor. Like, let's let's just call it what it is. I have a medal of honor not because of what I did, but because of political correctness, being that being the number one focus in higher up command that gives us our, the support that we needed. I mean, you can't tell me. I mean, think about this. This is how political correctness affects people like me on the ground. So you got a commander who puts in to writing a rule of engagement which we need rules of engagement. I mean, everybody needs those. I mean, I, I, rules of engagement matter, period. Uh, that's what makes us different from being the enemy, right, is rules of engagement. So what happened was, is can you imagine how unrealistic and how politically correct this, this is? The, what kept them from giving me fires that day was a rule of engagement that stated that you could not drop munitions into a village unless you had cleared the entire village and made sure that there were absolutely zero, um, that only enemy combatants were inside that village. So tell me how you do that. Do you walk through, hey buddy, uh, are you a bad guy or a good guy, right? Well, let me go through and let me check everybody and then we can drop munitions on it. I mean, tell me, how fucked up is that? Could I refuse the medal? No, I tried. And anybody that says I didn't try, call um, Colonel Otto Rutt, call all, everybody up at headquarters Marine Corps when I was working, or when I, when I got it. You're a paralyzed double amputee. Is it still possible to go skydiving? Absolutely.
No, Miss I, Felicia, I appreciate that, but I don't really. I'm I'm not. I'm just I'm just a guy who got handed an unfortunate situation. What daughter do I think is more like me? I don't know. I hope neither one of them, but I would probably say Sailor. I don't know. It just depends. Depends on what we're talking about. Do I remember what I scored on my ASVAB? No, I think I probably had to have a waiver. Um, what else? If you had to assemble a squad of nothing but historical figures, who would you choose? Um, I would start with uh, John Bassalone. I definitely have him on my side. Um, I don't know. John Bassalone for sure. I don't know who else I would have. That's a tough one. That's a really tough one. I like that. That's a good question. I'd have to think about that. Do I have a relationship with Trip? I do. I do. I talk to Trip all the time. Hang out with him all the time. Have I ever worked with Air Force Pararescue? Yes, I have. I absolutely worked with them. They came in the day on September 8, 2009 to try to help get my teammates out. Alvin York was a bad dude, too. Yeah, he's a badass. What are your thoughts on mixed gender training at boot camp? Mixed gender chain, I mean, whatever, right, whatever. I mean, I've worked on the battlefield. I've been in gunfights with women. I mean, I don't, whatever. I think as long as the standards stay the same, why are we worried about gender? That's the great thing about the military. In the military, we don't worry about your color, your skin, where you come from, your political views, uh, what sex you are. Like, we're all just, the standard's the standard. You are judged by not your, your sexual preference, not your color, not your... Uh, you know, political affiliation, you're judged on by how you meet the standards and how you perform. And that's the great thing about the military. So I think that it needs to stay that way. I mean, you know, this women in combat thing, I mean, I've, I've stood next to men who shouldn't even be in fucking combat, right? I've stood next to men who couldn't pass the standards, who should have never had no fucking business to be standing in a gunfight where someone is trying to, to, to shoot at them. So I don't understand what the deal is. And usually the people who are bitching about women being in combat are those guys who should have never fucking been there. Funniest thing that happened on deployment. Oh, there's a ton of them. There's a ton of them. I, I, we would have to do a video on that. I can't do that right now. <laughs> I'd have to think of what would be appropriate. How's co-parent? It's going good. I mean, co-parent is going great. I mean, we're working on it. We're working together. Um, you know, it's going great. It's going as good as it can go, you know? Is Team Mom recording you right now? Is Team Mom recording me right now? Nope, but I think they're going to be here this weekend. Is the brotherhood real in the military? It is as real as it gets. And, it, and it's even after the military. How do you get back in the workout routine after getting out? Um, you look in the mirror and hate what you see enough and you'll go to the fucking gym. That's what I had to do. Do I keep in contact with Kyle Carpenter? Nah, usually whenever you try to get in touch with Kyle, you've got to go through his assistant. So, I got plenty of those. What's up, Ben? My main man. How was, uh, how was uh, going in the tunnel? Any crazy ideas I'm thinking about in 2019? Um, no, just change the world. Am I open to a new relationship? No, <clears throat> absolutely not. Hey, thanks so much. Thanks, uh, Belly Amble. I don't know what that is, sorry. Is it, uh, best MRE is mac and cheese. Yeah, I agree. Mac and cheese is the bomb. Well, I teach my girls to shoot, absolutely. At what age? You know, as soon as I feel like they're responsible enough to, to carry a weapon and, and they understand, uh, I think that the, the important part of, of, of being able to let my kids shoot and be able to use a weapon is for them to understand the, for them to be able, at the point that they're at an age where I feel like they can understand the consequences of bad decisions with a weapon. I think that's, I think that's how you go off of it. Have I shot the Barrett 50 cal? Yeah, absolutely. I used to, I carried the M107 uh, in Iraq quite a bit. It, it weighs, uh, I think, 32.5 pounds. 
My favorite military movie. I don't know. There's a lot of them. What do I think of Chris Kyle? I think he's a fucking legend. I think he's a fucking legend. Uh, was it always given to you that you'd serve? No, I, I, I never knew I would. What age did I join the military? I joined at 17. How long have we been going live? 40. 40 minutes, all right. What do I think of David Goggins? I think a dude's a beast. I think he's a beast. I want to read his book. I mean, I've seen him out there crushing. I've never met him. I think David Goggins is a fucking beast. How many tattoos do you have? How many tattoos do I have? I don't know. Like, do you count this as one? Or how many do you count this as, right? Like, that's, that's kind of the question. I don't know. I've got a couple. Kicking the negatives out of your boat. Yeah, I agree with that, right? So I'll, I've always said, people get mad at me for saying this, but... You know, your life is like a boat, right? Like you've got your own little boat in this ocean of life and the waves are coming, the storms come, you know, you've got pirates out there, you've got sharks in the water, you know, you've got all these things in life. And, and you know, in your boat, you should only have people who are, who are rowing, right? You don't need people in your boat who are rowing against you, who are, you know, I, I always, talk about you know you've always got those people in the boat who are behind you as you're rowing the boat or getting the water out of the boat whatever you're doing in the storm and they're drilling holes in it and you look at them and you go dude there's more holes let's patch it up and they're like oh yeah yeah I'm helping you I'm helping you and as soon as you turn around they're drilling more holes in it and those are the people you need to throw out of your boat the people who are not rowing who are not carrying their weight get them out of your boat like you know what I mean like get them out of your boat you've got enough going against you you've got enough storms you've got enough you only need people in your boat who are helping you row your boat and if not let them get their own damn boat when are you taking your girls to Disneyland when am I taking my girls to Disneyland I don't know don't bring that up to sailor okay um, as soon as I feel like they can it's a lot of money right so I feel like as soon as they can appreciate the experience I'm gonna take them I can't wait I can't wait to take them. I'm really excited about it. Can can use help patenting? Uh, I don't know what that is. How's the bang flavor? I love I love the unicorn. I probably drank too many today, but I love it. Do I get social anxiety? Mm, it just depends. What else? How did I pick my girls' names? Well, I didn't pick the first one, but the second one, uh, Atlee was picked after a airplane shop in Alaska, Atlee Dodge. So it's a pretty good name, isn't it? Do I like motorcycles? Yeah, I mean, I, I do. I like anything that goes fast. Send a shout out to your soldiers that volunteer for upcoming deployment. Badass Spartan One Defender. Hey, thank you guys for your service. Do I watch myself on Teen Mom? I watched the episodes early, but no. I don't watch that show. Do I hang out with the Black Rifle Coffee guys much? Not as much as I'd like. I love those guys, though. Did I see a wedding band on your most recent video? Yeah, you guys seen a wedding band on my most recent video. That video was shot, when was that shot? A year ago. It was shot about a year ago. Uh... So how did you get into the canvas art business? How do I get into the canvas art business? Um, I don't know. You know, Colin Wayne brought it up to me as like a good idea and then I just researched it and built it from there. Need me out at, the grateful, uh, at a Grateful Nation event soon. I'm in, let's go. What does the tattoo on your chest say? What's up Marines at 211? Um, what's the tattoo on my chest say? It's, uh, it's Latin for your death is my life. Do I have a book out? I do. It's called Into the Fire. What is one thing vets love to hear? I don't know. Liberty? Did I ever meet Chris Kyle? I did. I did. Where do you see yourself at age 40? Where do I see myself at age 40? I don't know. I hope a lot better than I am at age 30. Um, I hope the next 10 years are a lot easier than the last 10 years, but you know, whatever. Whatever life wants to throw at me, I'm ready for it. 
Chow, yeah, that's a good one. What else? Anything else? Do I travel much? I do. I travel all the time. So, all right, listen. Do I want more kids? Nah, I do want more kids, but uh, not right. I mean, obviously, I can't have any more. I got, I got that fixed. How do you explain the MOH to your girls and at what age? I don't, I'll never bring it up to them. I'll never, I'll never bring the Medal of Honor. The, the question was, how do I bring up the Medal of Honor uh, to my girls and at what age? I, I'll never bring it up to them. They, they don't need to know that I'm a Medal of Honor recipient. They don't need to know any of that. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not a Marine to them. I'm not anything other than dad to them. And that's all they need to know. And, and that's, that's all I'll ever tell them. I'm sure they'll figure it out someday, but it doesn't matter. It takes the same amount of money to wake up mad as it does happy. That's a fact. All right, listen. I uh, I love you guys. I appreciate you all. Maybe I'll do another one if you guys, you know, if you guys keep crushing it like this. I will. Uh, I'll keep. I'll, maybe I'll do another one by the end of the week. Who knows? But I just I appreciate you guys so much. I hope you guys have a great week. You guys are the best. And um, thank you so much.